Mediterranean coast, one often finds plant remains in the shape of spheres. At first glance, they appear to be pieces of garbage washed up by the sea. But what are they really? The ocean, the indispensable environment for life on our planet, hides many secrets. Understanding its function and conserving it in good condition is our legacy for future generations. Fortunately, with the help of scientists and funding agencies, we can understand some of the mysteries that our oceans have hidden. Let's see where these spheres come from. They are the remains of the leaves of Poseidonia oceanica, a curious flowering plant that forms extensive submarine meadows that are a key to life in the Mediterranean. Although these spheres are of natural origin, these meadows are shrinking in some areas. Poseidonia oceanica is a cloning plant that forms thousand-year-old meadows. Due to their slow growth, less than 10 centimeters each year, these grasslands take centuries to form. Like other flowering plants, they reproduce sexually but only very rarely. Poseidonia meadows harbor a great amount of diversity. The mussel Pina nobilis is abundant in this habitat. Small invertebrates feed on the detritus that accumulates on the leaves. A large variety of fish forage for food, seek shelter or breed in the thick mats formed by these meadows. Nevertheless, in some parts of the Mediterranean, these meadows have drastically reduced in size. The use of anchors and grapnels can quickly destroy what nature took years to build. However, there is another enemy that is harder to see. The release of organic material into the water stimulates the production of sulfate-reducing bacteria. These bacteria form compounds that are toxic to Poseidonias. In light of these impacts, we need to look for solutions and alternatives. A scientific project in Cabrera National Park, where Poseidonias are protected from these threats, has allowed for the identification of the causes of this toxicity. When an increase in organic matter occurs, the bacterial concentration rises along with a release of toxic sulfur, which harms the Poseidonia grasslands. However, Iron can sequester the toxic sulfur, eliminating the toxicity of this compound. Demographic studies show that when iron is added in a controlled manner, grassland conditions improve and facilitate the recruitment and growth of new individuals. These studies demonstrate that the reduction of submarine grasslands can be halted if we prevent the critical processes that cause the reduction. Recognizing and sharing this information, which is difficult to perceive, is the work of scientists and those who manage these ecosystems. 